Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Commander Clash. This week we're playing decks that are so dumb they're actually brilliant. Let's see what everyone's running. Hey it's Phil and today I'm playing the scariest commander in the least scary way. Okay, it might get a little scary in the end there, but uh, we'll see. Hi, I'm Richard and I'm playing 90 lands to DC. It's a glass cannon combo deck looking to get Lake of the Dead on turn three and doing a turn four ad nauseum for the win. There's an 88% chance of getting the combo in your opening hand if you multi three. So it's pretty consistent. Let's see if we get there. Yo, as you know, Misery is always on the menu and this week we're gonna try to play a clash deck since I never really clash on, if you will. But now, I'm definitely gonna try to do that. With Marvo Deep Operative, I'm gonna be screaming clash on, try to clash, manipulate the top of my deck, load my deck up with a bunch of eight mana bombs, and uh, yeah, and uh, things that kind of scry, preordain, stuff like that. Let's see how we do. I'm Seth and I'm playing a deck led by Rakamuro Biologist, but really it's a hidden commander deck, and our real plan is to find Spike it and pull off some ridiculous shenanigans by giving a creature the name of literally every creature in magic. This show is brought to you by our sponsors. You can purchase all the accessories we use on the show over at ultimateguard.com and you can purchase all your cards over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. You can also support us by buying merch at our merch store at mtggoldfishmerch.com and liking and subscribing to help the channel grow. All right, with the intros out of the way, let's hop into the game. Three, two, one, clash on. Clash on. <laughs> Flash on. All right, that was, that was pretty close. <laughs> oh, don't Flash worry. on a pack of ramen. Uh, you you uh, may not hear ramen. it right now, but if my deck does what I want it to do, you'll hear a lot of Clash on. That frowny face describes how I always think Krim looks when we make him say Clash on. That's his Clash on face. Is, is that a new secret layer card? <laughs> is, and I'm going to play a Bajuka Bok and exile my non-existent graveyard. Go. Got him. Got him. Ouch. Good, good graveyard hate. Good responsible All right. Gaming. I just drew it. That was <laughs> such good graveyard hate. Oh, wow. I'm going to play Vert and Catacombs, and I'm going to pass. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm going to fetch, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, I play. will untap and draw Oh, five color mana. Let's play a Mardu Triome, and you can go. I will play a Swamp. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Swamp. Then I'm going to play a Creeping Bloodsucker. Uh, sorry, Morgan, for the editing. <laughs> but at the beginning of my upkeep, uh, it deals one damage to each opponent, and then I gain life equal to the damage loss this way. So pretty good. What set is that common. from? Is that like Battle That's Bond? That's from Jumpstart. That's a lot of life gain. And go. I will need it because you're going to hate me. I oh, God. guess. Uh, I just expect you it. of... Persistence. Uh, I'm gonna cast Lock Twain Scorn. Kill that. Kill oh, <laughs> and I gain right. the value. That's probably or, good. Yeah, yeah. I played I mean, this card too. I think. And this is now on an adventure. Your I turn. feel like I feel like I should see way more Lock Twain Scorns. I still think that card's really good. Uh, I'm gonna draw for my turn. Uh, all right. I'm gonna Arid Mesa. I'm going to crack it. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a a Temple Garden with this, and then I'm gonna also cast three visits and get a Triome that has a forest in it with that so can i just popping double off. search and then i'm done all right seeing uh, so that's popping off over there you play land and i'm gonna play uh demonic tutor oh my god, oh god. god. you guys it's trust good me one. it's demonic tutor it could be Hit anything em. really uh you go all right i'm gonna play a swamp who's the least likely to make use of power stones i'm gonna so first of all i'm gonna cast a trans Hey. Love this card. When it enters the battlefield, you and target opponent each create a tap power stone token. Come on, Phil. You never do oh, anything dude. for me. But but we help. I, I can't think you know Crim's deck's going to be me. full of expensive <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we can't yeah, ramp him into the eight drops. No, no. I, I think I right. choose but it's Seth. Only even though his commander has a activated Wait, ability. Wait, what? I don't think Seth plays mana rocks and the other colors play mana rocks. I don't even know if I have a sliver Seth? token. I didn't even consider the possibility that I might activate that ability. <laughs> so we, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. And then All right. Wow. I'm so behind. I have two permanent Seth has four. Ridiculous. I'm going to cast Diabolic Vision. Three visits. Look at the top five cards of your life. Library, put one of them into your hand and then put the remaining four on top of the library in any order. I mean, it's definitely good Instant if you want to know what's on top of your deck because you're clashing like that. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. We're cool. We're cool. Don't worry. We're chill. Wait, are we chill? Hold on. I don't believe the card says until end of turn, you can rearrange the top of your deck. Here. Oh, well, actually, that, <laughs> it's the secret. But it's been errata. It's Judge? been errata. It's been errata. <laughs> Judge? Uh, it's the gonna, embarrassing I'm I top. And, then, and, and I'm going to leave on top. Again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <stop it> top. <laughs> 
<laughs> just Nothing. in case. <laughs> I will untap and draw. The Power Stone plan might have slightly backfired, Phil. Oh, come I'm gonna on. I'm going to play an, I'm gonna play an Arcane a... Signet. <laughs> Oh, You're green. Did you and then I'm gonna play the deck. I'm gonna play a mute evolve. Oh my god, he could use it to activate mute evolve too. And yeah, then... and that's fine with me. Four. Phil is uh, eat, feeding. Uh. He's feeding. He's throwing. Oh my god, he's inting. <laughs> Look, how much Seth. Look, Seth has seven permanents. I oh. have two. I'm gonna play Court <laughs> yeah. of Vantress. So when he's it gonna be the enters monarch. the battlefield, I become the monarch. At beginning, uh, beginning of my upkeep, I can choose up to one target enchantment or artifact. If I'm the monarch, I copy it. If I'm not the monarch, I can have this become a copy of it until the end of turn. Or I can have it become a copy of it, but it maintains the ability. So not until end of turn, but I can change it to something else if I want. And then I will pass and then draw a card from the Monarch and you can go. I like to point out Seth has eight permanents. I have two. Yep. Tap the swamp. So I have one black in case this matters. I'm going to play Lake of the Dead. Whoa. So when it comes into play, <laughs> sacrifice the swamp or bury Lake of the Dead. So I'm going to sack the swamp. And then I'm going to tap Lake of the Dead. It has an ability where I can sack a swamp and I can add four black to my mana pool. And tap this. So the float one. I'm going to sack this. <laughs> and then I added four Sick. from Lake of the Dead. I'll just cast Sadisi. Are you sacking it? So Sadisi, uh, well, yes. It's a 4-6 death <laughs> touch with exploit. So I can sack a creature uh, when it enters a battlefield. And when I exploit a creature, I'm a survivor for a card through my hand that shuffled. I have one black remaining after all of this. I'm going to just pass the turn. Sadisi, go Don't back to the Don't complain about zone. not having permanent stuff. <laughs> I went backwards in permanence. What is Richard doing? Yeah. I'm going to play the Mycosynth Garden. I'm going to swing at Seth for the monarchy. Yep, I will take two, and you can become the monarch. Gonna pay five mana to play the Might Stone and the Weak Stone. Oh, when it enters the battlefield, oh a creature God. gets minus five, minus five, or I draw two cards, and it taps for two Power Stone mana. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw two. Please be. Phil is over there it playing is a on a Sega Dreamcast. I e Farewell Stone, and. Our power sounds oh, good. And then I draw that because I'm the monarch. <laughs> They're getting an artifact well. deck. I'm going to play Otawara for your last turn. You may all concede now. I'm going to play Lightning Griefs. Oh, boy. Anybody would li uh, like to concede? How much does nope. your commander cost? Five? Five. So, so next turn, to... he, he mm -hmm. has the ability to... I'm going to smack the person clash. that has the most permanence. Being smacked doesn't matter. It's more the casting something for free that I'm true, expecting he set true. up with his thing. That's what scares What's me. The one the is The grossest okay. thing you could cast in Commander. An ultimatum. Um, so Court of Interest <laughs> is going to trigger... <laughs> a blue-black ultimatum. I'll just have it become an Arcane Signet this turn. Never let them know what your next move is. Become a Mana Rock. Uh, I'm going to play Xander's Lounge Tapped. He's, he's like it's... outpacing Tron. I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm, <done. laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play Verdant Succession. So it's a the enchantment that says when a non-token green creature is put into a graveyard from play, its creature's controller may search his or her library for a card with the same name as that creature and put it into play. And if they do, they shuffle their library. Oh, hold on. That's okay. a combo, right? That, so that, wait, that whenever he does nothing in Commander, and then presumably. I'm going to play copy of something. Spy Kit. Oh, so Spy Kit is my, my hidden God. Commander. Spy Kit is an equipment that says equipped creature gets plus one plus one, and it has uh, all the names of non-legendary creature cards in addition to its name. And then I didn't you know can go. Was, so uh, now any oh, no. non-token green creature that dies, he can just tutor for literally anything. So it if it's field? equipped yeah, yeah, yeah. and the creature is green and it dies, I'd be able to tutor for another non-legendary creature and put it into play. That's so cool. <laughs> I, I thought Spike It was like, I don't know, it's yeah. from Conspiracy. So I it's kind of actually Black Order. It yeah, it's not yeah. Acorn or wow. anything. I passed the turn. He did sack all I of his mana last turn. <laughs> 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 Can't expect I too much. Swamp. I, I expected something That's such crazy. a wild line, Richard. I'm curious why you did that. Okay, so for six mana, no edicts and no discard in this target deck. Oh, Chimino. It's a Shimmer Inner Sun. Yes. Spells you control can't be countered. Crim. <laughs> and at the beginning Grim. of your end step, discover five. Wait, yeah, can I can I just ask you a quick question, Phil? Can that be countered? Yes, it can be countered. <laughs> <It> can be. Oh. <laughs> that is kind of the problem with Shun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just go ahead and manage that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Crim is about, oh, my goodness, this is not good. Oh, Crim is about to pop off. So Crim gets uh -huh. six mana and a free eight drop. Oh, get out of here. It is a free eight drop. Yeah, I wouldn't play the victim. That's yet. the whole point of the commander. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, gonna, like, that's uh, the whole point. Pass the turn and draw. I just draw to a cool card. Wow. So I'll use three blue black. Play Marvo. When Marvo deep operative attacks, clash with defending player. Whenever you win a clash, draw a card. Then you may cast a spell from your hand with mana value eight or less without paying its mana cost. I'll attempt to put his shoes on. If Krim sequence this, 
with with Giga Brain. He should still know what the top of his deck is, right? From yeah, he's at the top of his deck, through. so he should oh, get a free right. drop here. Yeah, but did he take into account the mana drain that was happening? What is this? I'm gonna Haunted play Haunted crossroads. crossroads. Pay a black, put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. It's cool. You, I'm gonna go to combat. You don't have a creature in your graveyard, right? Nope. I think I'm gonna swing at Richard. Time to bring this out on board. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so Clash so, has flipped the top card of my top deck. card. You ready? <laughs> yeah. All right, Clash on. <laughs> oh. All right, research the deep, baby, for two what is mana. What research the deep? Which is draw a card, Clash with an opponent. <laughs> if you win, <laughs> return research of the deep to its owner's hand. <laughs> is, it, is it a sorcery? What is it's it? It's sorcery. <laughs> wait, wait, where does my thing go? Can, Do I get to scry with it? You can go top or I bottom. Get I'm uh, going to bottom now... in case Krim wants to Clash again, you know? <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. So now Krim can cast his free spell. So I think I need to shut down Seth's nonsense. I'm going to give you another power stone. I'm going to play Cityscape Leveler. Okay. Uh, actually, no. Wait. It's when I cast. Never mind. I'm putting I'm putting Rune Scar Demon into play. Okay. Wait. Oh. Hold on. Do I cast the spell or do I? So many. Two. Oh my them, yeah. God. I will put Cityscape Leveler into play. Okay. I've got to blow up. Let's get Verdant Succession out of here. Uh, all right. I'll get another power stone. Not the the commander. I, I guess that's fair, huh? Okay, but then I... Okay, I'll get rid of the spy kit. Sorry. I'm going to pass. All right. I will untap and draw. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. I mean, we know he has a runescar demon in hand. No, we don't. Which will be free next <laughs> turn. Only if I win. I haven't manipulated my... Uh, nothing anymore on the top of my deck is known. We will see. But uh, it I is known that pass? you just play eight drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I imagine if you're playing that commander, your plan is to win clashes, but maybe it's not. I'm going to play God. Eternal Witness. I'm going to well, get back a spy kit to my hand. Oh, oh, oh. Um, combo piece. I'm going to play a Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to Ooh. shuffle my library and pass the turn. Wait, what? No other equipment for value, just the spy kit. Nope. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> why, why, did he, why does he want to show Not just lines. Oh, it's to get the spy kit. The stone forge. Yeah, it's only to get the spy kit. kit. Okay. That's the that's the only purpose of the stone forge, and kind of to avoid counter spells, maybe. But the combos the in this deck don't really win the game. They're just funny, so I wouldn't be overly worried. It's not like you're gonna die. Let me just blow up his his verdant succession. Then we'll be fine. Pass. Oh, well, he keeps doing it. Yeah. Right? Doesn't oh, it so he's holding the spy up something kit. every turn. Yeah. Uh, end of turn, what I'm going to turn my doing? Thespian stage into the, what's the, Lake of the Ooh, Dead? Not the Lake of the Dead. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good if you don't uh, have a Oh, that's for it. sweet. Yeah. Wait, what? Bill actually has a lot of mana now. Yeah. He's also mono black. You can use all that mana. Yes, that <laughs> exactly, is convenient. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to draw. Do I just eat the counter, I guess? I don't know. Why do I, I have to get all of Krim's interaction out of the way? Not even out know. of the way. Please, I'm somebody going to get else. it out of I'm going to play an ancient tomb. Phil has so much man. Yeah, Phil has and unlimited man. You, you, you probably black said Zenith for 10 or something. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I don't want to do this. I crack a power swamp, stones. Uh, at four mana. So wait, you get tap the swamp first. So it'd be five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Thank you. I mean, I'm helping you guys. By getting out a counter, I can't imagine this working. Just thought season first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just clear the way, clear the way. Seven, eight, two damage. What is this that requires so much mana? Is this a boogie? Nine. <laughs> so I'm going to cast Terry Zare's Devastation oh. for X equals five. You lose five life, create X tapped power stone tokens, then all creatures get minus one, minus one for each artifact you control. Does okay. this happen? Yeah, it's a bunch of power stones. I mean, I'm not stopping that. You got it. I have no response. <laughs> lose five life, then I create five power stones that tapped so everything dies right yeah Verdant succession will trigger and do i shuffle my library <laughs> uh no it's Wait, okay. why do you shuffle your library oh you're gonna search <laughs> <laughs> yeah search you know, and fail I'm to find i'm to believe Krim that every artifact deck is broken uh i'm huh. going to pass the turn and draw a card end of your turn i'm gonna put steal? my marvel on top of my deck mm -hmm. we yeah, it'd be nice if we could at least steal the monarch from Phil. He's getting two cards a turn because of that. I mean, that's on you. I didn't plan on that. Yeah, that is on me. I don't mind. Tap power stones are black and untapped are white for this thing we're doing over here. It's bad. Until the I'm going to play Marvo comes. again. I'm going to equip Greaves. I guess I'll attack Phil. I'm going to. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you have something that I, I, I that can block? No, I do. Here's an orcish bomb. Oh, oh, sure. oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Wait, does that matter? Krim you still clash, for one? Right, or no? He still and clashes. Okay. It's on attack. So the clash is, is going to happen. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess we clash. Flip over a all is dust. Ooh, oh god. Block. 
City of Brass. Oh, the Clash <laughs> fails. Dead. Let's go into the bottom, right, Phil? To the bottom. This one's uh, staying on top. Just <laughs> turns That's out I'm good. running a lot of rafts today. Uh, I'm Yeah, I'm not going to block the thing. Okay, so I get Monarchs? Wait, what? Why do you want your Orcish army? <laughs> You're not going to... Uh, oh, it's only one Yeah, damage. actually, I'm just going to throw this away. It's a 1-8. I thought it was an 8-8 for some reason. Oh, actually, wait. I don't have oh, to wait, move this to the bottom, right? It monarchs. can go top you or bottom. Consider. It's up to you. you yeah. it's, it's like a scry, basically. It was City of Brass. Untap and draw. Uh, I'm going to fire Muta Vault. Oh, I'm gonna... oh, just trying to get the Monarch. I'm just Here going to the Monarch. I'm going to, I'm <laughs> going to build Vault the Muta Vault. <laughs> mm -hmm. See if I got it. To see if I steal the crown. Hey. All right. I steal the crown, so I become the Monarch. Post combat. One, two, three, four. Is it even worth playing this? Everyone, It doesn't do anything, and everyone is definitely going to freak out. <laughs> oh, God, don't say <laughs> this. That's usually the mistake I make. I know. Well, Sorry, I know. I'm freaking out already. You might as well just play I just it. know Richard. Richard <laughs> plays modern. That's the thing. Richard plays modern so i'm gonna play this card oh. like oh my god i died to this modern and trying to kill me even though i almost didn't even play to Leyline and draco what, what's going on here Seth? Oh, i'm gonna god. i'm gonna play a ley line to the kill back oh my god <laughs> <laughs> each non-land permanent i control is all colors and lands i control are every basic land type also uh i'm switching out my city of brass because i want we all know it's on top i wanted mine to be white border Okay. Okay. <laughs> um and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna recast the spike it. I will go to my end step. I'll draw with the monarch and I think that'll trigger your bowmaster, Phil. <laughs> it sure will. I'm going to create an orcish army. Uh, I'm going to shoot Krim for one. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I don't think Phil's gonna all his dust here. Maybe he will. The modern player of me just can't. wants someone to get super punished by uh, playing yes, Leyline. <laughs> uh, I kind of want Phil to all his dust. Maybe I shouldn't uh, even play that. Yeah. Because now all your power stones and your art artifacts get sacked. Yeah, if, he, right. if Phil does all his dust, I'm wrecked. I'm like down to four I, lands. I'm playing or something. Balin's tomb, oh, which is ancient then. tomb, Lord of the yeah. Rings. Okay. Tutor, uh, Sack of Swamp, Tutor. Five mana. No, Sadisi has. Uh, Sadisi already has commander tax. I'm going to ad nauseum. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> What's going on here? We're dead. We're dead. This is a combo. Right. I mean, yep. usually ad nauseum is bad, but I don't have. A I mean, response. I'm not countering it. No, okay. no I would if I had a okay. counter. I'm going to play. try to shortcut this by leaving, like, say, ten cards. Oh, this is the draw my deck. my deck. Oh my god! What? So we're we're gonna go through this in order, but I I I cannot mathematically kill myself. So I'm gonna pull okay. out all the non lands. Oh, that's oh, this like hilarious. A bells is that a bell shot? Oh, that's hilarious. Those are all lands. So now I, all land. I have 90 lands in my deck. Oh, oh no wonder you weren't doing much. Wow. That makes way more sense. Tim could have clashed me to the nether. Oh, ones. yeah. Richard is the target. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't play around that you'd have 90 lands. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I 90 lands. <laughs> Hold on. It's, it's falling no, apart. Hold Ooh, on. I got the question. Up, before it mixes Wait. my real lands. But how does Richard win from this? He's tapped out. Is he just going to draw 90 swamps and discard them to hand size? He's got a lotus petal. That's one mana, but I don't think and he then can win for one. And you can Okay, he have enough... I haven't drawn the thing I needed. Is it literally the last card in my deck? Hold on. Oh, is what? Richard going to <laughs> mill himself out? <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, but I, I see, Richard. Those are mix and match. That's beautiful. Well, These are all mix and match. Wait, wait, wait. No, I, wait, I already drew it. That's right? why you can't find it, Richard. <laughs> I already drew it. I already drew it. I already drew it. I already drew it. Wait, what is happening? I'm so confused. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. There, there, there's a dark ritual in here somewhere. One second. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have my whole oh, deck in my okay. hand and two cards. So I lose one, two, three, four, five life. So I'm going to cast Lotus Petal. I'm going to Dark Ritual. I have three black. I'm going to cast Dark Sphere. I don't so know Dark what that Sphere is. So Dark Sphere is this artifact from the dark. Uh, I can sack it to prevent half of the damage done to you by a single source rounded down. And then uh, I'm going to use two mana. Oh, uh, nice. And I'm going to pitch That's actually hilarious. 40 swamps on it. my hand, wow. which I do. And I'm going to crack Dark Sphere to prevent half of that to myself. <laughs> yeah. No response. Right. GG. GG. I, I can't believe wow. that actually this worked. Guy, so if I multi <laughs> breeze, I have an 88% chance of doing the turn four kill. And Nauseum just puts cards in my hand, so it gets around Orcish Bowmasters. You got it. That's what I nice. <laughs> 90 swamps to GG. So cool. <laughs>
<laughs> that was that was pretty <laughs> sweet. Crazy. <laughs> to be fair, I had some combos in here as well, obviously. Uh, game two, I have a different deck for game two, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh well, yeah, you we can't even class game. We do game two. Let's go. I so I, I, I would have got the turn four kill, but Krim had mana drain up, so I didn't go for it. I couldn't do anything against this. No, I don't, I, I don't think I'm ever going to I just run ramp. So what you're saying here is you would have needed your old blue mage. Dark Sphere of all things. I think it was the first time I've seen Dark what, Sphere casting. I didn't play around that. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, so uh, we're back here with uh, game number two, and uh, that means in four, three, two, one, we got to clash on. Clash on. Oh, no, time. time Wait, oh, we boy. Got... We're getting worse. We're getting worse. <laughs> that is, that is close enough. I got enough. in my head. I'm like, okay, we got to do it in sync. We got to do it in sync. And then I was thinking that while the clash on actually happened. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go off a turn. <laughs> Crim's clashing on for all of us this week. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm making again, up for all the times I haven't cool. clashed on with this deck. Oh, no, I'm not helping Richard with this. So I'm going to play an Ubok. Everything's a swamp. And then I'm going to play a Wayfarer's Bobble. I don't know why I thought I was second, but you know what? <laughs> um, I'm just going to play Rafine's Tower and pass. Uh, I'm going to play flash. my mountain. Ooh, search foil. I'm just kidding. It's it's an island. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and pass. So I, I'm on Mailstorm Wanderer now. So this will explain uh, uh, Untai Dake, the Cloud Keeper. Hey. It's a legendary land. It comes into play tapped. I can pay two to add two to my mana pool. Uh, spend this mana only to play legendary spells. Wait, I, I have like a stack this of those because I feel like I always it's think that card's busted and everyone's going to play land it. And for no one plays it. Oh, wait, and a no one, <laughs> no one plays it. I, I mean, I play I play Mailstorm Wanderer in paper, and I pretty much just need to cast the Wanderer. So I think this land might be, oh, the foils are gonna be expensive. Okay, no, nothing scary here. I'm going to play a Deserted Temple. Oh boy. And, nothing uh, scary here. Once you find a coffer. It untaps a land, maybe a coffers at some point for one mana. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And go. Mm -hmm. Actually not go. I'm going to crack this force one before anything goes wrong. And then sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tap and draw. I'm going to play a wooded foothills. I'm going to crack the wooded foothills. And you actually got to sit through this one. I think I'm getting a breeding pool. Maybe old border fetch lands are a bad idea because they're old. Oh, you can't, oh, you can't shots, I can't tell which card's which. <laughs> yeah. All right. Breeding pool. <laughs> we found it. It looks just You got to like double check. Edges. Is that a Misty? Is that a Misty? <laughs> Oh my god. He's like a landfall deck accidentally fetches Misty. I'm going to cast a Coiling Oracle. When it ETBs, oh, shoot. reveal the top card of your library. If it's land, it goes into play. Otherwise, it goes into your hand. Um, Let's go. Top card is Beautiful. a Bloodstained Mire. And that's cracked. I'm just going to crack this and get a Triome while you guys are going. No, it's and cracked. You can go. <laughs> now right. it's literally cracked. I'm going to uh, play Sunken Ruins. I'm going to go ahead and play Keen Duelist. Ooh. The beginning of my upkeep. You and target opponent each reveal the top card of your library. You each lose life equal to the mana value of the card revealed by the other player. You each put the card revealed into your hands. And your turn, Richard. I'm going to play Thundering Falls. It's a surveil land, and I'm going to surveil. You would. I'm going to keep on top. Uh, Just in case go. we clash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw. Continue with the power stones. Here's a one power stone. Hey, Looks like the original power stone. stone. That this is the yeah. warm power stone How that about is not a, a power stone. You got it. Vesuva that enters as Richard's land, the cloud keeper land, <laughs> the, the cloud legendary keeper. thing. Okay. Okay. So I'm Funny going is, to actively play test not... it and see if I like. It. Oh, it's legendary. I mean, it taps for black regardless. So I'm not. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of mana again. And uh, go. Yeah, that's the point. For the usual. <laughs> I guess I'm going to continue my plan of killing myself. A blood crypt untap down to 34. <laughs> And then uh, black market connections. Oh. How big is your creature, Krim? Two, two. Why did you two, two. look at me? <laughs> like, um, does it fly? Does it well, no, I was trying to figure out if I needed a blocker for it. If I, I don't want to take too much more damage. It doesn't fly. Uh, I'm going to hit Phil for one. And go ahead. All right, Phil, we're clashing. Oh, whoa. <laughs> how about A? We're pretty much but, clashing. We're going to reveal. Oh, come it. on. Oh, yeah, but we're still flipping, right? Yeah, yeah, you need to draw it, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you'll get a Bowmasters. I take two, you take nothing. <laughs> oh, you wow, that actually wait. worked out pretty good for Phil. And, and then I, I, I draw so a turn. This card sucks. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, see, you, live, you live by the clash. You, you die by the clash. I'm here for it. I'm going to go ahead and play Counterbalance. Oh, wait. Okay. In response. Uh... To what? 
in Lane Tutor in response to the counterbalance. Seth, I have like eight drops in my deck. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> countering a one drop. I don't know. You might. You might <laughs> have well, something. Counterbalance might just uh, jank me out. And you have, I'm just, like, I have a lot of seven uh, drops. I'm going to swing uh, at uh, Richard. You sure? You don't want to wait to see what Seth gets and swing at him? I'm going to get the <laughs> I'm gonna get I the can't spy stop hit. it anyways. Oh, nice. That actually might be low enough. I pass a- after that, Richard. Okay. I'm going to play Sand Silos, okay? It's a card from Fallen Empires. It okay. comes in a play tapped. You can choose not to untap it during your untap phase and instead put a storage counter on it. And then I can tap and remove any number of storage counters from it. For each storage counter, remove Addy Blue. Phil's hmm. Orbit is actually fixing all my terrible ends. Yeah. Because if I want yeah. I could just untap <laughs> it and use it I as thought... normal mana. Uh, I'm and I said that. I'm not helping Richard with this, but I guess <laughs> I am. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to play a Takenuma. Then I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cast a Mind's Eye. Whenever an oh, opponent draws a card, I may yes. pay one. So and if good. you do draw a card, yeah, I got jealous last time I saw this with uh, Seth playing it. And no, he, I'm... he also has a Bowmaster, so I'm going. Wait, you to... don't want a counterbalance flip? Oh, we did. That was I, what, it, a Bajuka It's Mortuary's Mire. I think I'm going to resolve the Bowmaster. It feels sure. like just a card that's good in any deck that feels a little off flavor this this week. Sure. And I'm going to shoot the Oracle yep. and create an army. And then I'm going to pass. All right. Right, so I'm going to untap and draw, and then Mind black trigger. market connections. Okay, I'm not going to make a shapeshifter, but I am going to make a treasure and draw a card, and I'll lose uh, three altogether. Oh, yeah, you get a bowmaster figure. Thing. I drew off black market connections, yeah. I'm going to you shoot. You think if we just keep shooting Seth, he'll just die to himself? <laughs> can you draw <laughs> another card so I can get rid of it? Actually, yeah. I'm shooting a Richard just to send a message, because last game was scary. Yeah. Not to uh, underestimate him but again. I still thank you for the Orborg. All right. I'm going to spend one, two, three. I think he'll pay that cost just for how much you've helped his mana. I'm going to spend five mana. Oh, um, open, the open, open the way. X equals like three. I'd like to reveal Mortuary's Mire mm-hmm. again. That is that is fine. So I'm going to reveal until I hit three lands. Echoing Truth. Uh, okay. Triumph. Archfiend of the Dross. Bazaar of Wonders. Velika Exploration. Unyielding Gatekeeper, Muta Vault, uh, and Marsh Flats. Such you have a, a soul bag? How did you get So three? why is Armageddon not okay? I had the treasure from <laughs> oh, Black treasure, Market treasure, Connections. Treasure. Yeah. And then you can I mean, go. Open the Way is the low-key most broken card. Like, no one ever sees it. That's ramp three. Well, Let's for sure. duel uh, right now, Seth. Me and you? Yeah, I, uh, you lose nothing. Uh, you also this, lose oh, nothing. Is you? What's going on? Nice. Friends. No. <laughs> Land friends. Look at us go. I guess I'll just go ahead and play a swamp two mana i'm gonna go ahead and play thought vessel and then i'm gonna pass upkeep i assume that or untap i'm not going to untap sand silos so oh yeah i'm, I'm working to on add it. a counter to it how greedy do we get max greed Very. you don't lightly greed right you got a full <laughs> 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 so i'm gonna play hinterland harbor it enters Gross. untapped because i have a thundering falls disgusting i will pass the turn maybe we need to hit uh, richard huh? <laughs> he had yeah, done so, so little but the thing is if <laughs> richard's doing wants... is like his power up, and we always fall last game. We were like, "Oh, yeah, Richard's doing I'm nothing." To ramp. He's like dead. It's, it's very obvious. I'm trying to ramp to miss from longer here. <laughs> Answer me this, Richard. How many lands are in this deck? <laughs> That's a trick question, Seth. Why, why yeah. does it come back to me to see what's going on? It. I know it. <laughs> he's, Richard's playing like 90 lands again, and he's cascading <laughs> into something specific with the triple guess. It's got to be. It's got to be. I'm going to cast an unwinding clock. Untap all artifacts you control during each apo- each other player's untap step. No one afraid of Phil here? He's doing the artifacts. Nice, nice. This is as then I'm going you can take. take. Wait, is it a four cost or a two cost? It's a, it's a four. four cost. Jesus okay. Christ. I have a two cost um, on top. Pay four mana and play my commander. Is it Turgrit? No, it's Turgrit's Lantern. It taps to make target player lose three life unless they sacrifice a non land permanent or discard a card. And for four mana, three colorless and in black, I can untap it. I paid two life, yeah. Going to tap it and ask Richard if. No, can you he wants me? to target, target, no target me target me no yeah, yeah, don't target me. don't target Krim if he wants to be targeted that's not no, I, I target yeah. Richard no, no, yeah Richard makes the most then, sense no 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 because I can so, hurt so what Richard is it doing? real bad so if I you target me discard or I take three or you sacrifice a non land permanent you can't sack a land though right yeah sack is can't not sack land. lands yeah yeah I don't, I'm not bad thank you I'm not sacking my lands uh, <laughs> <laughs> just in case I'm discarding a forest I'm going to attack Richard for two and then I'm going to pass the turn and wait when Seth, untap, the combo. Untap, untap, untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untaps. Yeah. Oh, that's 12 It's like Seedborn like... Muse for artifacts. I yeah. guess. So, yeah. It's my go. Um, yeah. 
if you draw, do we I die the turn you resolve Melster Wander? If the answer to that is yes, then I'm not scared of Phil. If it's no, then then yes, <laughs> Phil is concerning. I assume we die. I'm then. still uh, I I, maybe I'm just die. biased because of last game because I'm assuming we just die when Melster Monster resolves. But I'm gonna untap and draw for my turn. I'm gonna draw uh, two. My on black top market of this connections is gonna trigger. So with this trigger on the stack, I'm actually gonna uh, I'm gonna crack this fetch to fit my deck. I'm gonna treasure and draw. So I'm gonna trigger your Bowmaster again, Phil. Um, Richard gets one, I guess. Well, like, are we trying to kill him now? I mean, Maybe I, think I don't we have to I mean... So white, red, blue, whatever. I'm going to play a Zedru, <laughs> the Tomer <laughs> yeah. classic. It's all part of the plan. Uh, I'm going to play a your thing. <laughs> forest for my land for the turn. I'm going to play a spy kit. All right, no so trigger counterbalance. On top. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. I have like <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, and then I'm gonna play a Phyrexian Arena and yeah. pass the turn. Enough turn, I land on Richard, I guess. Sorry, I'm scared. And then I untap my... my... Do you feel good about yourself? You've sacked two Bob Ross. Oh yeah, Richard's playing all in. <laughs> uh, Richard, we're, we're clashing. <laughs> we're clashing. First you draw a we're card, clashing? right? Are we yeah. clashing oh, no. between duelists? Yeah, he's like all that. It's seen. All, right, all right, all right. How do you know I'm not sober? That's just three bases. Um, what did you reveal, Krim? I missed did it. Did you draw a uh, diabolic Krim? Oh, the okay. Yep, yep, yep. You drew for turn, then I'm gonna draw yeah. for Krim. We letting Phil get away with this with the Maelstrom Wand? Richard, Richard, Richard. <laughs> you have Richard. The clock. We can see the clock, the mana ticking up. We know, we know. <laughs> diabolic vision. We just win the game before then. Two, yeah. <laughs> Command power. Yep. I'm gonna play Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, oh that is now I can. Help you, got, my, you still scared of Maelstrom fight Wanderer? Richard. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can help fight Richard. Yeah, I swing two at Richard. Okay. Before you pass, I'm going to target Lantern Krim. Yeah, Ooh. all right, sure. You take Wait, three. Like no, yes. I'll discard. Why you guys discard discarding Astral Dragon? Oh, okay. Oh, he I'm wants gonna... to discard. Uh, Astral oh, Dragon. Oh, he to recycle yard. Ketria Triome. Disgusting. Bowmasters? Krim was probably the wrong call here. Sorry, viewers. I'm going to yeah, do this. You. And now I shoot Krim because now I'm more afraid of Krim. Wait, how how are you afraid? I'm trying to kill Richard. We're I play Astro Dragon. Well, he's a weird control deck. So, he's going to lock us all up. We are going yeah, you to play. Yeah, you okay, did Sorry, sorry. But <laughs> I have never resolved an Astro Dragon and didn't crash the universe after. That is also so, true. Astro Dragon Sorry. is incredibly yeah, I'm busted. going to kill you first now. <laughs> I do you just hand wrap Richard in the game. Right I do two there. cards, right? I cycle. And Richard's everything. not going to win. I'm going to play Sunken Citadel. Mm -hmm. So ETB's tapped. I choose a color and then I can tap it to add two mana of any color to activate only land sources. Oh, where? I'm going to so... choose green. <laughs> I pass. Okay. End of turn on Lantern Seth. Maybe you should sure. be Lantern Crim so we I'll can't flash and dump mess. the card into play. Oh, or Richard. <laughs> Damage. I would just take all the I don't damage. even have I think my I have all lands in my deck, and I'll only discard lands. So <laughs> wait, I don't even have my commander. What are y'all talking about? Swamp. Yeah, I'm just going to pay two mana, cast a Voltaic Servant. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of your end step, untap target artifact. So wait, it's a two wait, cost. Did I? We kind of need a yeah. It's a two cost. I'm gonna reveal oh, it's missions two. briefing. Oh, okay, it gets counted. Okay, I knew you. Yeah, you so I'm gonna. This tap, five thousand uh, IQ play with counterbalance top. Target's lantern. I oh, figured it out, oh, guys. I figured. What if out. control was even Back more Richard with the lantern? I put a clash deck. Okay, <laughs> I'm afraid of Richard. All right, I'm gonna discard this island you guys saw from the clash. I'm going to attack <laughs> Krim with the four. Get out of here. Yeah, sure. I, I take four. And then I'm going to make pass. zero sense why you're not attacking Richard. The you're gonna pass. Open, let, let it be known, you guys keep picking on the man, the mana flooded player. I, I, I believe this goes against the social contract. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you're mana flooded. Get out I of think here. you're abusing the social contract. Uh, I'm gonna draw for my turn. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna trigger going to my draw for your turn. I got my Frexine Arena, so I draw and lose a life from that, and then oh, I have. Uh, I'm going to ping Black Market Connection Richards with the Bowmaster. And I'm gonna draw for black market connections and make a treasure. Yeah, so you get another, you get another no, thing on the there. One. So Wait, arena and black market triggered. Yeah, yeah. You ping twice, didn't you? I guess I could. Yeah, you could pay, pay once more. Yeah, they all trigger oh, in different steps. Draw. So I'm just yeah, yeah, gonna. Gotcha. Pay with that. Okay. Oh, it's another bowmaster. Yeah. Who uh, has drawn so like I'm four going cards to every shoot. turn cycle? Oh, I, Minimum. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to shoot Krim with a bowmaster. Krim has a three on top, right? Um, two. I'm gonna. I have a two. I have a two. Or a two on top. Okay, I'm gonna play Aminatu. 
<laughs> Hold on. Comes in with three loyalty. <laughs> oh, you, okay. oh, 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 oh. Let me rearrange the top of my deck. <laughs> we're, we're, we're cool, right, Seth? You're going to leave me alone? I'm, yes, I'm leaving you alone. Okay. Top for size. Sure. Just to see what could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take up the Aminad to you. So I'm going to draw a card and put a card back on top of my deck, and that'll unfortunately trigger the Bowmaster. Yeah, this one's for Seth, actually. You got to learn your lesson there. We will put a card back on top of our deck. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Green Warden of Murasa. It's a big eternal witness to get back my spy kit. Responses. Um, I'll respond. Oh, let's see that six on, on the top, crew. Okay. It's good. All right. So I will get back my spy kit to my hand and I'll play a Triome tap for my land and Richard. Two from Zedru, and then you can go. I'm gonna target Richard with the Lantern. I'm gonna chuck a Missy Reinforce. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's You're a really plan. Plan. Imagine <laughs> that. That cost, that cost me life. <laughs> All right, Richard, you ready? We're gonna clash. You can take a dig through time to the face. <laughs> Ooh, and yeah, the land. Right. What right. is the combo of magic Richard's best deck? I've been trying to figure it out. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to uh, tap and draw. There's no timeline where I can just play Marvo. This is really annoying. Oh, yeah, you, no. you're going to let them dictate the pace of the game? I mean, what if, if, you what if What if I give you second, crew? <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and play Mortuary's Mire. When it enters the battlefield, uh, I get to put target creature card from my graveyard on top of my library. I'm going to put Astral Dragon on top. It's an eight drop, okay. right? So it doesn't even yeah. count how the. Oh, it does count how the Maelstrom Wonder, but you still get the Cascade. I pass. All right. So All right. I don't make it around this turn. I'm going to land Seth. Um, yeah, I'll take three. Wow, I didn't expect the lantern to do this much. Okay. Since okay, you're a I'm bunch going of meanies. To draw. <laughs> you're going to kill us. Y'all better be nice to me or I'm just going to let Rich resolve this. <laughs> <laughs> because it's funny. So normally you wouldn't have to do this, but for some reason Phil's getting away with it and we let the counterbalance player. So I'm going to run right to the counterbalance. I want to show you guys this though. So Sand Silo. <laughs> Turns out it's really bad, but we're going to do it. <laughs> two mana, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I pay two for Unfedafi. I go to 19. Maelstrom Wanderer. It's a seven, yep. five. Creatures I control have haste with double cascade. Does it right. resolve? So, okay. So then I will flip the Astral Dragon to counter the Maelstrom Wanderer. Maelstrom Wanderer goes to the command zone. What's cascade happening twice. Cascade now? number one. <laughs> just right, go, well, to, I, go right to the spell. Go right to the spell. Go right to the spell. Oh, right oh. The, oh you're oh, so oh, flooded. Oh, oh, you're so flooded. Oh, oh you're so flooded. I feel terrible. Oh, oh Krim, did you switch my deck? Oh, I must have stacked again. all those lands on top. What is Richard? the finisher? I mean, Crim's going to oh, just count. There, there's a lot of ways around this, but okay, these are all lands. So oh, far. beautiful. You like all my nice yeah. lands, though? They're beautiful. They are but nice. Where did this? Nice. This art? Oh, okay. that's a geeky, geeky. oh my God. <laughs> that's a fine Tomer. Tomer. <laughs> Tomer. Okay, uh, no. in response to the. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. I'll activate top. So your, your Kiki is on the board. Wait, so so where do, where do these lands go? <laughs> Bottom in a random order. Okay, and yeah, with Phil. Kiki on the battlefield <laughs> and the second cascade on the stack, I'm going to cast Sad's Will, and I control my commander. Oh, this is German. Let me see. Every opponent sacrifices a creature with the highest power they control, and then exile all cards from all graveyards of your opponents, and then create X to one Thrall creature tokens, where X is the number of of highest power. All right, Green Warden's down. So Green Warden was five power. Then mm -hmm. I get five thralls, and that's why I wasn't scared of the Maelstrom Wanderer. I'm sorry, Richard, but okay. can't get away with so, it twice. Okay. Okay. So now I'm yeah, scared of so second. Well, I mean, we all know Eddie that Krim. I, I'm eating the bullet for Phil to win here or Krim. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to show yeah. my. Deck. I don't know where you. Yeah, think you got to show off the combo. You have a counterbalance. You do have control deck. You just kind of lock Phil everyone. Combo kills you. I, I, <laughs> there's no way I lock everybody. Oh, you can with counterbalance top. Have you seen my curve? <laughs> uh, I, I randomly dropped card. That's got to be a Pestermite, right? Does so it's, it's Pestermite, and it has to be Pestermite because the ordering of these two permanents don't matter, right? Because oh, so, right. if, you, if you do like Zealous Conscript or something, it yeah. doesn't actually work yeah. if, you, if you cascade into the wrong order. <laughs> so the whole point is you just play all these like charge lands and soul lands and all this crap. Turbo it it's, out. Uh, it's 97 land Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, you would love the Lelia deck I just played a little bit ago. Okay. That was 94 So I can land. tap or untap a permanent. I'm going to tap Crim's mana and I am done. 
Go. End of turn, I turkets lantern. Nah, Seth. I'll do it. Always oh, Krim. I'll... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I'll, don't I'll want him start. to play free spells I'll... or with his commander, right? Things change now that Richard is not. Uh, uh, I think Richard's I out mean, of the game at this point. Basically, yeah, we're still is, uh, we're still dead to like only Phil. a pestamite now. I think I'm dead to Phil and locked by Krim. So I'm is <laughs> it in between a rock and hard place <laughs> at the moment? <laughs> I will take three more. Let's try to hurt Krim as much as possible somehow. Uh, I'm going to tap two. And three, cast a Foundry Inspector. Artifact spells that I cast cost one less to cast, so... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to play a Manifold key for free. How much is mm -hmm. that? Uh, one, one mana. And it untaps another artifact for one, and it makes a, a creature unblockable. I'm going to spin I can't up. believe they, they power crept full tea at key. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate top. I'll draw a card. Oh, put the top on top. Okay. Yep, yeah. put the top on top. Yeah. Reveal... Top. You're not triggering Bowmasters, by the way, because this is on your turn. Yeah, you still draw. It's only your draw step, right? Yeah, you get oh, draw. Okay, well then, whatever. Sure, yeah, I'll take the one. Okay, it's, Krim it's gets only... the one. Someone hasn't played and... Honor in too long. <laughs> For two mana, all over I'm going to cast yeah. Rings of Bright Herb. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm yeah. getting scary, I'm not going to lie. Whenever you activate an ability, if it isn't a mana mm -hmm. ability, you may pay two if you do copy that ability, and you may choose new targets for that copy. I'm going to pay one mana and play a Moon Silver Key. I can sacrifice. Why does he have so many cards in two mana. Mind's eye. Oh, oh, wait! He's got oh, more trickery. Shenanigans. Uh, I'm gonna cast missions briefing. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll surveil too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll reveal mindstone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you found it. Oh, look, at, look at that tight miracles player. Even after yeah, all I this feel back like... talking, he remembers third down what his card is. I like it, Krim. <laughs> I feel like Krim. Yeah. Did you ever play Legacy Miracles, Krim, back in the? I day? did. Did you ever get? I into did. That? Okay. I'm going to swing. Those are zero one thralls, right? Oh, these are zero ones. Yeah, yeah I kind of. <laughs> yeah, mean, I'm going to message. swing with the hogs. <laughs> that is an eight and a nine. Yes. I'm going to is tap Clash Wrath. Taggart's Lantern Ooh. and target Krim, I guess. We gotta yeah. be fast I'll discard. Now. Well, I thought people would just take the damage. I wouldn't That's discard That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what Actually, I always... I'll take the three. Okay. Wow, his hand is that important. And then I'll pass. All right, I will untap. I'm going to uh, draw with Phyrexian Arena. I'm I going to draw for draw. my masters. And I'm going to ping Krim. And then I'll draw for my turn and then black market connections i will uh make a treasure and draw Ooh, yeah i guess i draw it. with uh, this one bow masters wins uh, bow master well by itself bow masters. <laughs> so jesus christ how much yeah, do seth, I seth is just feeding it wait is the did you cast the the kit you put it into your hand right with green warden i didn't cast it yeah okay i, I know because i've been activate, monitoring. i'm not too. i've been i've been trying to monitor that the, the uh, yeah the oh, counterbalance i'm sure uh so activate aminatu to draw a card oh yeah, yeah. Krim gets pinked. Actually, Phil. I mean, gonna, it's a th Krim it's a three v one. It's a three v one. I get it. Like Phil is getting fed, and then Phil is counterbalance. Krim, you know what you're doing. Don't <laughs> act like you're not doing that. So I'll put a oh, card. Don't act like you're not a mono black burn deck. I'm gonna cast Verdant Succession again. Oh, that's it. The combo's up. Yeah, I feel like that Seth resolves. Not exactly. Like, so we know what it is. I'm gonna play. Esper Sentinel and that looks suspected to a Bowmasters. Everything suspected to the Bowmasters, but I want to do cool things with this card, but I'm just going to cast it so at least I can play it. So there's actually two cards my deck is kind of built around. One is Spike It, the other one is Exchange of Words. Exchange of Words, three man enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you choose two target creatures. For as long as it remains on the battlefield, you exchange the text boxes on those creatures. Yo, give me the Bowmasters and give him the Pester Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play the masters. Yeah, but I actually want the text on my creature, so I actually am going to do what you said. So I'm going to give oh. Pestermite the Bowmaster's text, and Bowmaster will have the Pestermite text. And then you can, uh, well, do I? I'm not attacking. Go ahead, Krim. All right, so I'll draw for turn. End of turn. I'm going to Lantern Krim. Okay. Then I untap. You should at least yell Clash on every time you counterbalance. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to play my draw. commander, but like there's no chance for me right now. I'm going to too draw far with ahead. Krim. Got a colorless floating. I'm thinking about activating. Yeah, so I'm going to activate Lantern, target Krim, and then I'm going to copy the Lantern activate trigger with the rings. And you're targeting me with both, right? Yeah. Uh, also, I think uh, Richard's Bombmaster, yeah. 
So you got, okay, I'll kill you your bow masters. In case. I'm, I'm ditching. I'm ditching City of Brass. Girl by RV, like you did for Phil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So rather than deal another cycle of Phil targeting me, I'm gonna just overload Cyclonic Rift now. Mm. Would you like to pay the one? No. <laughs> no. All right. My bow masters. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw a card. So there's an Esper Sentinel trigger. So then bow master triggers. I'll ping Phil. I'm gonna put my lantern in the command zone. I think. And then I pass. Wait, that was the main phase, Psych Rift? Yeah, because if it goes to your untap step, he gets to do all his things again. Oh, yeah, he untaps too. Sand Silos is going back for a slumber. It's charging up. Vesuva copying Mutavolt. Yeah, get in there. Go ahead, Phil. Untap. Draw. Does someone want a wheel? I would like a wheel. Oh, I actually had to make it. Do you have any draw, yeah. real cards left in your deck? Excuse me. <laughs> I, I have yeah, the technically, most yeah. important you card in Magic the Gathering <laughs> called Lands. You can't Are cast you spells without better them. lands. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to run out as much as I can. Counterbalance still. He's a Foundry Inspector. Okay. So it's not a three. <laughs> this is like a it's two. It's a two. <laughs> the guessing you know game. Uh, yeah. Oh, do we know it's a two? I actually, a... no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't know anything. Uh, is it a four? Here's a throne no. diamond. Colorless floating one power stone? Three? Sure. You already checked it's not a, three. It's not a three. You know, Krim's a real miracles player. He might just let you resolve the two drop or whatever and then get Seth. I'm going to play a Solemn Simulacrum. The next level. Sure. Get a swan. I'm going to pass the turn and discard a damnation. I will untap and draw. I'm going to play Birds of Paradise. Is it a one? Oh, it is a it's one. A yeah, one. it's the... All right. In that case, pay two, play my spy kit. <laughs> this deck, uh, one, two, three. I'm a not two again. I'm going to take it up to draw a card and put a card back on top, which will be this one. Hollowed Fountain tapped. And I'll replay Black Market Connections. And you can go... One, two, three, four, stop five, six. Stop you from six. killing yourself, Seth. Good See, luck with now that. Is no one can stop you from counter doing everything that. back on the way down. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to discard Verdant Succession to hand size. Wait, what? Isn't that important? I'm going to spend five mana. Commander First time. time this game, I can finally play my commander. Clash on. I'm going to go ahead and play top. Go ahead. I mean, I don't know why I'm the problem, though. I know counterbalance is just good, annoying. But, but yeah, like, it's annoying, but it's not practical. Like, it's not the correct play, right? I mean, I flash in faster, my. What do I even target with this? Uh, it's eight on top. Oh, God. All right. Eight on top. There's really nothing useful to be doing. I'll just, I'll just tap solemn. Nothing useful here. Who do I hit here exactly? The guy at 37, probably. Yes, blockers though. All right, I'm gonna send two at Seth and then two at. Not Aminatu. No, I don't care about that. Two at uh, Phil there. Two flying at Phil. Mm? Here you go. All right. Can you just troll us and play turn grid face up? <laughs> uh, no, a turn grid face up is not allowed in this deck. I'm sorry, but here's something. <laughs> That works with the original target. Here's a shieldred. Full stop. Ooh. Just shieldred. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to activate. Yeah. Okay. When it resolves, uh, every opponent sacrifices a non-token creature or planeswalker. Wow. Now I'm actually doing actual target stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. I need to draw my cards. Siphon Mind. Every other player discards a card. I Also, this draw. is not going to my graveyard. This is in my... I'll discard Frexian Arena. I discard I one of my... Draw three cards. Hopefully a Relic Please, please, please. please. Uh, okay. Play a Buried Ruin. Um, I'm just going to play the Unwinding Clock for three. Uh, I'm going to pass with seven cards in hand. Wait, is that Shouldry uh, Saga actually, or something? I could actually, uh, it is a Saga on the backside. So I will untap and draw. Black Market Connections. I'm going to... I don't think anybody's hit you, Seth. I think that's my favorite part about this. You were at 10 for the most part from your own dude. Yeah, I didn't really talk yeah. to you that much. I'm taking six. You got to do it right. I will make a Shapeshifter. That's a 3-2. I will get a Treasure Token, and then I will draw a card with the black market connections now what i mean i haven't been able to do this all game so i'm gonna go to equip i want to say i equipped it so i'm gonna attempt to put a spike <laughs> on this shapeshifter oh, it's every type and every name now it's every type and every non-legendary name i'm gonna cast uh esper sentinel any responses Krim? are we good yeah you good uh i will just cast so useless a nature's lore and then i'm gonna grab a hopefully a basic forest if i have one and pass the turn no surveying ends Get that value. All right, so I'm going to activate my top. I'm going to leave it just like that. Then I'm going to draw the top card. 
then I'm going to untap draw for turn. Then I'm going to go ahead and play Drown Catacomb. And now I'm going to delve six to go ahead and cast the dig through time that we know about. This is comedy. I'm paying the one, by the way. Then I'm going to go ahead and play top. I guess I just pass. Uh, we will continue um, to charge up with sand silos. Okay. All right. Oh, at wait, the end wait. of, oh, oh, we're still I think step. I need to do this. I'm going to try to, yeah, at the end of Crim's turn, I think I'm going to contribute to the game here. I think this is correct. I'm going to pay three and I'm going to beast within the unwinding clock. Oh, wow. I'm not going to counter that even if I had it. So go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you get a three, three beastie and then go ahead. I think that just made things worse. <laughs> you just gave him another blocker. I'm going to transmute Teleria West. Hell yeah, Richard. <laughs> Find Hell your best yeah. land, Richard. The best land in the deck. Let's do it. How much do I want to contribute to this game? I mean, if you win through just a bunch of creature lands, you've earned it, right? Like, and that yeah, if Richard wins from this point, that would be very impressive. <laughs> I'm going to grab a Thespian Stage. Uh, we're going to play the Thespian Stage. I'm going to I'm going to swing a muta vault into Krim. All right, <laughs> fine. I'll cycle a uh, decree of pain. Oh. Why did you do that before? That I, I could have actually got a good attack in. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I, I wanted I wanted you not to do that so I could like wait till uh later. I'm going to draw a card. Go ahead. Untap draw for turn. Let's do this first so we get this out of the way. So this didn't work last time, but here is a Shimir. Spells you control can't be countered at the beginning of end step, discover five. Do you have a random six drop on top? I don't. You don't. It's a two. Oh, dude. And now I can cast through the counter balance anyways. Oh boy. That's bad. Let's just play a Bajuka Bok. Exile Crim's Graveyard. <laughs> two cards. Pay five. I'm going to play Mind's Eye, and I'm going to attack Seth <laughs> with this. Oh, and no, no more Krim triggers. With this. No, could have killed Seth right here. Yeah, I have to block, or I'll tell you, oh, wait, Black you... Market Connection. Oh, um, it happens the It's not, what. you have to choose at least one, yeah. All right, I'll just block with the Shapeshifter, that's fine. And okay, Krim so took think... the four, <laughs> then I'm going to go into my end step. At the beginning of my end step, I discover five, so... Do a little oh, discovery. So it's a Sandstone Oracle, a Warm Coil Engine. There's a Morbid Opportunist. Whenever one or more other creatures die, I draw a card and go. All right, I will untap and draw. And I then will draw as well. Black Market, I'm just going to draw and lose two. Oh boy, we are I'm running out of time here. Draw and lose two, <laughs> not lose two. I'm gonna spend four mana on a Timeless Witness. Oh, I should have exiled your graveyard, uh, I guess. I'm going to get back the Amanat too, so I can Dig one card deeper. Cast the Aminatu. Take up the Aminatu. I'm going to put a card back on my deck, which will be this one. One, two, three, four. I guess I'm just going to run this stuff out if I die, I die. I'm going to play Zedru, and I'm going to play a Zeotaurus Proving Grounds, and I am going to pass the turn. We're dead as soon as Phil pretty much untaps. Oh, if only that psych grip was a boom pile, then we would have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then there's a, at least a 50% so chance we'd be alive. <laughs> I don't think I have anything I can do. I think we're just at this point kind of locked out. He's got so many cards. So first, you know what? I'll cast Preordain. I'll scry okay. two, then draw a card. I'll put both these lands to the bottom. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pay a blue. I drew into Ponder. Feels good. I'll look at okay, the top three. Okay. Keep it going. Oh my God, what? Like that, I'll draw, I'll Virtue of Persistence, uh, the Lock Twain Scorn side, kill the 1-3, the gain 2. I'm going to go ahead and cast Greaves, I guess, and then I'm going to pass. Um, this mm -hmm. is on an adventure. All right. I, I am going to uh, use Urborg, use my Untaidake, use Thespian Stage, copy Mutavolt before Seth dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's my yeah, okay. out here. Yeah. If you draw a card, I draw a card too. I do not untap the thingy. Oh, look at his value. It's, it's like a Tron land. It only took me only five turns. Uh, ancient Tomb. So two for Ancient Tomb, two for <laughs> Untadake. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's ten. Wanderer. Wanderer. Is uh, do I need to Cascade? No. I, so just just are, are we just okay, so I actually bottom, have to do so. this, right? So uh, re mm -hmm. see all my lands. Fortnite, come okay. on. Richard, do it again. are you going to hit me? I'll let you decide that for yourself, Krim. You okay. look at the I'll board activate state and make a decision. I'll activate top. <laughs> 
I want the creature on board because we need a hit, Phil. So you know what? Yeah, go ahead. Creatures can I control have haste. I fail to find. Oh, geez, this deck. Oh, uh, <laughs> so flooded. Seven at, at Phil. Yeah. I don't want to hatred that. <laughs> Team I would bitch. love to. I would <laughs> prefer one. <laughs> my one life. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's, that you <laughs> hatred? that's my turn. You can pump I can't. to eight commander. I should have put Wolf Run in here. I didn't think this far ahead. <laughs> it was a beam deck. I should have got more <laughs> Why with it? <laughs> I'm going to play Lykthos. This is looking pretty tergrady. I don't know why Crib is pointing that out. Devere control over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play Clash. Ranks up right now. If you Do kill Phil, if you kill Phil, I'll show you a Clash deck. We're just going to go super big on mana. Okay. Are we dead? Is this it? Uh, Magus of the Coffers. I was about to say, Coffers, we haven't seen Cabal Coffers yet. Coffers would be crazy, but this also adds for each one. It is summoning but tech, Way worse. Least. Yeah. I want to kill Krim, so... So I'll take four. Swing at Krim. Zero. I'm going to go into my end step. I'm going to discover five. Decree Good. of pain. Oh, a decree Ooh. of pain. Arcane Signet. And then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Come on, deck. With black market connections, we have to make a treasure. There's no choice here, else we're literally dead. So we're going to make a... exactly one more turn. Oh, he said you can gain life if you can... Zedru Swap. can, yeah, that's why my mana, my mana is uh, separating into Zedru piles, so I have three Zedru activations if I <laughs> need them. I'm going to take up, I'm going to take up Amanati to draw. <laughs> okay, at least, at least I can say my spy kit did something. This makes me, this makes me happy. So I'm going to put this on top. Oh, if Krim counters this with counterbalance, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> I'm going to cast a called colored Cornered Market. It says, players can't play spells or non-basic lands with the same name as a card that's in play. Oh my so god. <laughs> I am going to uh, Seth, wait. Come on, man. That's gonna like help. That's gonna hand gift the game to Phil. You wouldn't be able to play non-legendary creatures. So then I have to activate this. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll keep it like that. All right. So then uh one and two, I'm going to put the spy kit on uh my Zedru. So now essentially you can't play non-legendary creature spells because uh Zedru is all creature names in a in cornered market it will stop you not that you have non-land cards in your deck to cast anyway but i'm just gonna pass go ahead <sighs> this is rough are we playing these decks will get you banned from your lgs is this what's happening <laughs> <laughs> to be honest if i didn't have these odds well richard would have gotten away with it again i play my commander i guess yeah that's a legend that works i put shoes on it Finally was going to do some Clash nonsense, but I literally <laughs> get locked the turn You can Clash before. Legendary. You can Clash oh. Legendary. No, I can't, because I know what's in my hand. I know, isn't it hilarious <laughs> when someone that? locks you with okay, okay. The cornered <laughs> market is ruining your day. Yeah, that, that, that locks it. I still, what is this? So this is Blood Moon us out. With the, with the corner market and then assemble your six card combo. Corner markets <laughs> just happens to synergize with Spy Kit, so it's not that's not the the main plan of the deck. What is I'm this? I'm gonna scry three. Are you buying it back? No. Wait, that no. that doesn't clash. Uh, oh, that's dead anyway. Clash, I see. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing at Phil first. Oh, so you clash first. Yeah. Here's a swamp. Well, here's a scroll rack. Yes. I win the clash. Oh, I draw yeah, a card. Well with counterbalance. Then you may cast a spell from your hand with mana value eight or less without paying its mana costs. Yeah, you I, can play I, the scroll I, rack I, if you wanted to, but it's only creatures. Oh, it's not creatures. It's, okay. it's only, only creatures. Nuts. Only non-legendary creatures. Well, does, have a scroll, well, does Phil have a scroll rack over there? I don't know what that pile of artifacts is. No, uh, <laughs> it's a mind's eye. I passed. Talking about mind's eye, I'm probably going to do something when you draw, Richard. All right, I draw. Okay, so in response, pay two mana to activate Nykthos and add one, two, three, four mana. And then for one mana, I'm going to untap target land, tap this again, five in the pool, one to draw with Richard, and then tap target land and targeting Krim, pay the four floating to untap it again and target Krim again, just to draw a cut there. So two lantern triggers. Anyone have a Carplusion Forest? Me? I already played it. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to stack you guys harder so you guys can't play Carplusion Forest by being the first one to play it. You coming at me? I'm coming at you. Do you want your I'm going to I'm a 7-5. Yeah, I'm not going to block You're 14 the commander damage. Yeah. Pass the turn. At the end of Richard's turn, I'll generous gift the, the Magus of the coffers. So uh, I get, and then activate, you can go. I'm going to activate the scroll rack. Are we scroll racking the generous gift? <laughs> Pretty sure that should still be in a draw. Oh, <laughs> well, look at that. 
That no, is come on, fun. Magic God. Uh, oh, so that makes it no. super easy because, of course, I planned for... And you can untap it, yeah. So if I tap this, I can untap it with this deserted temple, and that is an activated ability. So with Rings of Bright Earth, I can pay two more from my oozles of mana with this Cabal Coffers, and then double the untapped target land trigger, target both lands, and use that to generate infinite black mana. And then what does that do? Allows for infinite. And that, it that allows the me to tap and untap the lantern an infinite, infinite number of times. times. I can't stop this. I mean, I had to have include anything? inevitability. I have some interaction, but I don't think it stops this. I'm straight up. I, I'm, I've got nothing. So I have an Odawaru. It can't bounce a land, right? It's it's not yeah. land. If you bounce the rings, I, he I just bounce plays the rings. Again. He still has yeah. the other. He can just get it. Back. He has so much mana. He just recasts. I don't think Atwara can yeah. actually stop it. GG. That does it. That's infinite mana. <laughs> infinite turgids. Uh, yeah. What Good a game. Uh, Sorry, I had to do it this way. I think I had enough mana to just activate it a lot of times, but. It's just uh, my, <laughs> my deck was my deck was really bad. It it was really bad, but it would have been funny if it worked. The main there were two main game plans for it. One is a spy kit something and then give it to you, which is why I had Zedru and Harmless Offering, and then the end it to exile all the all the creatures out of your deck, which would have been pretty funny. Um, <laughs> oh, that's so that hilarious. And then the other wow. one is Archfiend of the Dross with a with the name switching thing. You can give someone the text box, which will make them die. But they won't have any oil counters, so essentially you just change the name uh, or the text box uh, to Archfiend of the Dross and they die. So I think that brings us to the end of our Commander Clash for today. So we got in two games, we got to see some really wild decks, some uh, some decks that were so dumb, I guess they were brilliant. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next week for some uh, even more Commander action. So until then, have an amazing week. And this is a crew signing out.